Sa si bhagi jushin me tosham ri ra ling shi nim de gen pa di sang ye shin du mi te u ar gi jo ku nam da shin la ju pa sho Inam Guru Ratna Mandala Kam Niryatayami Sange Shudam Soki Chognam La Jamshu Bardu Dagni Kyatsuchi Dagi Shunyen Gibe Sunam Ki Jola Penshir Sange Druparsho Sange Shudam Soki Chognam La Jamchu Bardu Dagni Kyapsu Chi Dagi Chunyen Gibe Sunam Ki Jola Penshir Sange Druparsho Sange Shudam Soki Chognam La Jamchu Bardu Dagni Kyapsu Chi Dagi Chunyen Gibe Sunam Ki Jola Penshir Sange Drupar Sho Let's start here at Kyan. Kyan. Okay. Can we start with that? Uh, okay. We left off last time at that sentence. Okay. We did it. Yeah. But just read it. Changi Jaja Padmirik Te. Meta. Te. Te. No, no aspiration. Me te. Te. Me te. But you don't have to do what Mr. Andrade doesn't go te. You can just say it. It can be soft, but it has to be unaspirated. Okay. Marik te. Marik te. Changi Jaja Padmirik Te. Good. Meta go go pe meta go pe be pa minje par tempe so shena. You want to work with that, or you want me to tell you what it is? Uh, you refuse <laughs> to make any effort to treat. Yeah. Metas. No, we gotta go back to the root text. Right. Uh. Uh. Please listen to me. Oh, by the way, I have something to say about this. Oh, about the root text? We were discussing <laughs> the root text and thinking he had made a mistake, or that he had a different translation. Uh-huh, right. But we made an error, and I realized it this morning in the car, because of Utpala's blessing. Ogne chepar gyorwa yi jitar chibin nam dakshin. Okay, it is accidentally sounds like meter. Uh-huh. But it's not. It's part of the commentary. Yeah, it's part That's of the commentary. Hilarious. So I cut it off and now it makes sense. Okay? Uh, it's not know. part of the text. It's yeah. not part of the root text. Okay. He's he's referencing a later verse. Wow. Okay? Just one line. Of the no, But the, the first the line next the verse. line he uses to introduce the one line happens to be in exactly the same meter. <laughs> uh-huh. So I thought it was some kind of corruption in the text. Uh-huh. And then this morning I was like, duh. So what is this part says, uh, please listen, I'm going to I'm going to present I'm going to I'm going to defeat yeah. the idea that things could exist the way they seem with certain kinds of logic. Also I'm also going to refute the extreme that things could exist the same, the way they seem to. Okay? I'm also going to refute that. When he says also, what's it mean? He's going to use scripture as well. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, this is Gelsen. Listen others. to him, he understands. Yeah, what's the other scheme? Um, Nothing. Meta. Meta. Yeah, that if yeah. they don't exist the way they seem, then they don't exist at all. Yeah. Okay? So I'm also going to refute the idea that things could exist the way they <laughs> seem. Okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, meaning, the implication is he must have already refuted, refuted that things didn't exist at all. Right. Then uh, we ask him, uh, mm-hmm. then, then, here, then here's Gyal Jay's commentary to these lines. Right. Okay, and he says... You refuse uh, to make any effort to treat Meta, so why I'm are you saying... No, not yet. Oh. I just want to give you a review. He says, Dhamma means 
Nagarjuna is advising us, okay, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. listen up because uh, he's going to give an explanation of how to stop the idea that things exist the way they seem by using reasonings such as the one of dependence, the Sugang's text, yeah. okay, and, and in, by so doing, we're also going to block the view that things could exist the way they seem. Okay? All right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then, then the guy says, wait a minute. Candida, why didn't you say also? Right. Okay? Why did you just say also? You just told us you're not going to work on, on uh, refuting the idea that things don't exist at all. Right. Because Buddha already did a lot. It got its own separate treatments. Right. You know, he talked about it with all his each disciple. You just told us you're not going to cover that, you know. Yeah. If you ask that. Mm-hmm. Okay, now uh-huh. we're ready for new stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No problem. Hey, no problem. No problem. No problem. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. problem. Ni problem. Ni problem. Kim may day. Ah, jeta yang do. Sorry. Jeta yang do le doxim. Teta na yang ngagi gawa de dak me che pao. Jeta yang do scripture. What's this mu mean and learn it? Learn uh, it means like accept or Okay, learn. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Come on. I agree. Mu yeah. means let's get reasonable. Yeah. It's like this. Mu. 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 With your hand. Mu. Mu. Yeah, I agree <laughs> that the idea that yuta, uh-huh. that things could exist, things could exist the, the way they appear the way to, they appear to dole, dole dog sin. That yeah. scripture contradicts it already, or sutra disproves yeah. it. Yeah, sutra has long ago already yeah. disproved that. Yeah. The one I promised to talk about. Okay, uh-huh. I agree, it's already been treated. Deta na yang. Even though that's the case. Uh, yeah, even though that's the case. But but there's not the problems that I brought up before. Oh. I already talked to you about that. I already told you why we're not going to get going to meta. Buddha covered it a lot. Buddha <coughs> devoted separate scriptures to it. You know there's none of the problems that I listed before with Yutta. There's those problems with Metta. Uh-huh. Buddha, did, Buddha treated it as a separate subject in its own book. Buddha treated it continually. Buddha, and he d- treated it on many occasions. Right. Uh, That's not the case with Yutta. Uh, <coughs> I, already t- I already explained that to you. Uh-huh. Okay? So don't give, give me trouble about this kyan. Uh-huh. About also. Okay? Right. <laughs> Get off my back. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> now. Nipa. Nipa yata. Nipa haitam. Nipa. Because ni means an animal trap. Yeah. Nipa means the second point in a conversation. Guess which one is here? Gopher traps. Don't talk about gophers. Nipa yata go pe rikpala. Katsu bapa teoa dang sharjungo. Okay. Nipa yata. So now he's. He's uh, freely switching between yata and yata. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. the extreme uh, the technically, yeah. they're not the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yata the is the view yeah. that things exist the way they seem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yata the is the necessary implication of that view. Mm-hmm. Right. So they're right. not at all right. the same. Uh-huh. Uh, the necessary implication of that view uh-huh. is that everything exists for mm-hmm. uh-huh. yata different. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna have to translate it sensitively. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know you're sensitive, dude. Your wife told me that. Uh-huh. <laughs> the logic that the logic that stops that. Yeah. Kind of now mirror. let's uh-huh. now let's talk about our reasons why yeah. things don't exist. Why you shouldn't go to the extreme of thinking things right. exist. Things exist. Yeah. As they seem. Okay. Yeah. And I got two parts for you here. Kapsu papitawa. Kapsu uh, Bapa means relevant to the current context. context. Oh, okay. okay, we have cup again. Cup meaning context. Kapsu Bapa means falls at the context. It means relevant to this discussion. Okay. I'm going to give you a telgur 
relevant uh, to this discussion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, consequence. Yeah, Atangir is a famous uh, Buddhist con- kind of statement where you're sarcastic. You know, somebody says all fruits are are red. I guess and you, orange say, is and you just you orange. don't say no no no. You say oh yeah okay yeah fine. So I'm gonna go try to buy some red lemon. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's uh, and it's supposed to be the highest way to, to fight somebody logically. Mm-hmm. It's a sarcastic statement. It's called consequence. A necessary consequence of your saying that all fruits are red is that lemons must also be red. That's mm-hmm. telling you. That's Prasangika. And it's so famous that the highest Manimika school, which is the correct one, got that name because they like to use it. Okay. Okay, so right. last time we translated Tangir as sarcastic statement. Do you want me to look uh, I was thinking it would be nice to change it to consequence and then footnote it and just explain what a consequence is. Again, I think the philosophy of our Sedona school of translation, the Western Tower of the Eastern Shinjin Tower, okay. pure gold Eastern Yushin. I think we should try to make it readable by a waiter. Yeah. Consequence is not, you think? I think you go try it on a waiter. All right. <laughs> There's only waiters in the room. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I would, I, to be honest, Next I'd go somewhere between. I I'd okay. find something that's a little more implication. Okay. Yeah, in, well, implication seems. But anyway, we're right. gonna have to choose a word because it's coming up a lot now. Yay. Okay. So I look forward to. Cups of Bobby Tangier means I'm gonna give you a Tangier, which relates to this subject of trying to block the idea that things could exist the way they seem. Right. Okay, so he's being a true prasangika. prasangika. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, his proof that things <laughs> don't exist the way, his proof that the idea that things exist the way they seem, yeah. he's going to attack it with a sarcastic statement or with a with a statement with a, with of consequence. Statement of, for some reason he's warning us. Okay, yeah, yeah. and then shar chung, <laughs> shar chung, shar. This low tone shar, yeah. high tone shar. We had ten times Fries in the text here, here or east. Yeah. It's Sun each appear to the mind. <coughs> Sorry, it's not one. Uh, but Shar came up in a yeah, Char couple texts. Shar Chun, low tone, Char. means incidental Char. points. Okay. Incidental points. And it's a very common usage in colloquial Tibetan. Kira Rimla Radoi Shorla, they call it Shor. They don't say Shar, they say Rimla Radoi Shorla, Ajie La Chidoda. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jigme, on the way to my house, can you pick me up something at IGA? So, Shorla is the c- very common in colloquial, you know, ca- on the way. So, this means there's going to be some <coughs> interesting more stuff I want to tell you. It's not the main subject, but it's some stuff you might want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Sharchun. So, it's like along with some? Uh, with some incidental information. Cool. Chun means happened. Along the way. Okay. Here's the presentation of the Tilgir. Okay. Oh, I should. Yeah, Okay, you promised us new kinds of reasoning to to disprove that things could exist the way they seem. You promised us some new reasons. Let's hear them. Okay, here we go. Dangpony, Rekpade Yangang Shena. Yeah, what are your new reasonings? Jita Jipe Nam Takshin Ngopo Gelte Dengyo Na. Isn't that Ngel? No. Ngopo Gelte. It's not an English sound. There's no English equivalent. It's not a G. It's Ka. Ngopo Gelte Dengyo Na. Gelte. Gelte. If you say Gelte, it means your contradiction. Right. Kelte means if. This one means if. Kelte. If. Yeah. You can do your eyebrows. <laughs> it actually helps. It does. Yeah, very hard. I'm not going to spoil the party. <laughs> uh, by explaining it to you. Oh, okay, <laughs> fun. Uh, don't forget, you have to bold out all these root text Oops. below. Yeah, your uh, your text is a commentary. You gotta be weaving, okay? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Ditar. Oh, you want new reasons? Here we are. Ditar means you want new reasons. Here they are. 
Okay. Sorry. Dita chipala datar nangwa dida chita nangwa tarmi dente. I'm gonna. Okay, it's hard. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So divide and conquer. Yay. Split it up. Uh -huh. Make it tiny sentences. Uh -huh. okay. And everybody will be happier. <laughs> if it's too hard for you to translate quickly, uh -huh. your reader's not going to be able to get through it either. Yeah. So cut it up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, appear to children. Uh -huh. Things that appear to two year olds. Uh, <laughs> no, the way, the way that things appear. The way that all these things, unspoken, un unclarified. Uh, the, the way, way that all this thing stuff thing appears to, to people two like year olds. people like two year olds. Mm. Oh, yeah, the yeah. so, Tatar means nowadays. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, right, uh, right now, right now. Uh -huh. It ain't like that. It ain't true. Me didn't they? They contradict. They are contradictory. I would check the da actually. Okay, it might be Detar. Detar and Jitar are brothers. Uh -huh. Like that. Uh, like that, like this, yeah. you see? Yeah. So uh, I want you to check it. Okay. I'll put it in. Check. Anyway, the meaning is clear. Uh, the Things don't exist. It's not true that things exist the way they appear to exist to all these two-year-olds. What's right. a two-year-old? Someone who doesn't see anything. Yeah. In Buddhism, it means a person who didn't see anything. <laughs> it's not true that things, the things that, the things that appear to the, sorry, the things that appear to two years old, two, two year, year olds right now cannot be real. So this is the midden. Uh -huh. cannot, cannot be, be real, real in the way they seem. Midden. It cannot be truth. In the way they seem, okay. they seem. They cannot be the truth. Okay. Uh -huh. And then he's going to give a reason. Yeah. Uh, Guitar Jeep. Oh, no. Are we on the next part? Yeah, Kelte. Oh, Kelte. Guitar Jeepe Nampar Takpa Shingpo Dida Kelte. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's Kelte. Kelte. Tempar Girna. Jeepa Dida. Oh. If things were real in the way that uh, these children uh, believe them to be after checking number talk. You uh -huh. know, if you ask oh, yeah. one of these non-emptiness oh, seers, you know, is the world real the way it sees? And they check and they say, let me check. <laughs> yeah, real. Okay, so after having checked talk, <laughs> <coughs> After having checked, uh, the way that the world seems, okay, after Achiba has done some kind of checking into it, uh, it appears to be if real. they were real, mm -hmm. if all this stuff was real, all these things around us, Ngopo here is bhava, uh -huh. meaning stuff yeah, around stuff. us, not working thing. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Okay, if all this stuff around us were real, uh -huh. okay, suppose their opinion is correct. And that everything is real the way it seems to be. Real, true. Right. You know, so ultimately true. Here. Suppose it were correct. Then this tongue here was. Yeah, it's a tongue here. Right. Uh -huh. He's ready for the sarcastic yeah. punch. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Then truth is contradictory. <laughs> In that case, now now he's gonna what? now he's gonna make a, a classic tongue here. It has to have four parts. A classic town year has to have four parts. Ready? Yeah. Church, -ch blah, blah, blah. Yes. Second thing, are you telling me it's blah, blah, blah? Yeah, Second yeah. part, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you telling me it's blah, blah, blah? Uh -huh. The sarcastic part. Mm -hmm. Third part, because you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you said. Mm -hmm. And then we always give a tumpe young duck. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth part is, yeah, it's like blah, blah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, we give a comparison. Classic. It's like mm -hmm. blah, blah. <coughs> So here go the four parts. Let's number them. <laughs> it's kind of cool. You don't have to do it this way. Don't do I it for my text, just for our fun for now. Yeah, well, I would split them. Yeah, for sure. Uh, because they're so long. Yeah. Normally I wouldn't split them this, this finely. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But I, I just want you to know this is the whole tongue group. Okay. <laughs> okay, what is it? Uh, Two-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. Those two year olds. Yeah. Consider, these consider two. those two year olds. Yeah, right. consider the two year olds in the world. Consider the two year olds. Okay. In the world. Then you say something 
sarcastic about it. Are you telling me? Pumpoi no poten me parchikie wa milempe nam partat pam nyangen le de pa tope tak mi dunyen tu de pa kyugutsen gangi min de 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 rig partel. Okay, this is Rig partel. Rig partel. Yeah, really convoluted. Yeah, but pure, but beautiful. I mean, it's not stupid. Let's take it in pieces. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> First of all, let's look at some of the root text stuff. This namtar is pretty important. Uh -huh. I, I'm going to treat namtar first. Okay. Cool. Namtar normally means... Biography. Biography. Yeah. It doesn't mean it here. Figured. It means... He's going to tell you what it means down <coughs> here. Nambar tarpa. Nambar tarpa means here complete freedom. I made myself a note because I kept mistaking... I made myself a note. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number tapa, then he glosses it. Yangane equals young and Okay. Yeah. Equals okay. nirvana. All right. Uh, achieving total nirvana. Right. Maybe. But now, yeah, Toba, yeah, yeah. who has achieved dagni uh, as a person. Those great okay. souls. Oh. It, he didn't say dagni chimbo. Right. But he's almost giving that flavor. Uh -huh. you know, is he one of those people? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Now, who is he talking about? Those, uh, those two-year-olds. I suppose they're... Oh yeah, those two-year-olds must have, they must be big people, okay, who already achieved nirvana, freedom, <coughs> in which they no longer have to limba. They no longer have to take on... Uh, Pumbo, Earth. Pumbo, yeah. The five heaps, yeah. Those things, oh. Nupo, because in the root text he said Nupo. Yeah, yeah right. He's okay. just glossing. Nume. It. So Nume normally means uh, a not working thing. A tarpa. It's normally an, a, an unchanging a synonym thing. for tarpa. Oh. Yeah, an unchanging thing. Nume, uh -huh. a non-functioning thing. It has uh -huh. doesn't mean that at all here. It doesn't mean that at all here. Okay, it just means. He doesn't have that stuff. Uh -huh. He doesn't have that stuff. And he's just showing. And here he glosses this stuff. Means refers to the heaps. Yeah, they don't have that stuff anymore. Because don't forget, in these schools we're dealing with, which are the lower two schools, yeah. Hinayana, yeah. they really attach the idea of harmen Yeah, nirvana with nothing left. Yeah, over. you get the nirvana, everything disappears. And you're in this restaurant, and you never appear again. Again, uh, should I footnote Pumpo, or is that too obvious at this point in the text? Well, no, you're going to translate it. So. Oh, right. Okay. Don't so need to name them. Or it's going to be in a positive. <laughs> it's going to be in a positive. Yeah. Those. You know, I'm tempted sometimes to say body and mind. Uh, okay. Oh. Some, in some or occasions, it's okay. And in that case, I wouldn't uh, footnote it. I guess. Those. That stuff. Yeah. Meaning. Those parts to a person. Right. Dene mepa. Okay, we had dene today with oh, that was a somebody. Yeah. At oh, all. We had it in your text. Something. At all. Uh, was it uh, Alice's text? Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Chi kewa milim. Chi means later. Uh, Chi. Okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Meaning? So what's it say? Are, are you they don't have me, to. Um, no. Yeah. Are you telling me all the two-year-olds running around the world have already achieved nirvana, yeah. which is freedom, in the sense that they, don't they have no to take longer on, have to take on them. that stuff, meaning yeah. body that and mind, mind that we're stuck with at all, forever after? Forever after. Is that what you're just saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then they they're gonna say, look. Uh, they'll say, we don't. We never said that. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, niente te pa kyo. You, you listener groups, meaning Hinayanas. Okay, you listener group guys, you Hinayana guys. Gyuten kangi mindu. Give me one reason why you shouldn't say that. Okay, gyuten kangi mindu. Give me one good reason why you don't accept that already. Yeah. What? Did everyone who never saw emptiness already reach nirvana? Mm -hmm. You know, give me one good reason why you shouldn't agree. Yeah. Do you should agree. Give me one good, yeah. According to what you said, uh -huh. why? Get somebody, somebody make a breakthrough. A hundred bucks. Because all you need to do is... Uh, now think first. 
Are you telling me all these guys already reached new ones? Because, because they don't because they see, see the world things the way as, that it is damn, right now. Damn, you're expensive they today. <laughs> Wait, that's what I was about to say. And you yeah, but he said it first. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to stop and think about it, but that's what I was saying. <laughs> just for the record, I don't, you're gonna I don't need the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That's what I was about to say. I already had that. It's very hard to take a portion of a hundred dollars. If it's true that everything exists the way it seems, then what is there is reality. And if you see reality, you should become an artist. Okay? If it's not fake, if it's the reality, if it's real reality, then everybody who has eyeballs is their arha. Okay, got it? It's a it's a tellger. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, oh, I'll talk to you about dependent origination. You see? He didn't go that way. He just said, oh, yeah, okay. Everything's the way it is. So everything's real. So all these guys saw to my real. Yeah, so they're all our hearts, right? <laughs> okay, got it? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of cool. Kinda it's cool. so much more cool than saying, let me explain you the 12 wins in dependent origination. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you just okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 now, give me one good reason. Kyo, gyuten kangi mindu. Tell me one good reason why you shouldn't agree. You should agree. Do repata. Do repata. Do repata. Sorry. Repata. Yeah, you better believe it. Why? Mindu. <laughs> Mindupala gyu chi chi shi yete chung se kyang me pe chir te tempa tong war de pe chir. He strung three three things together with two becauses. Because blah, because blah, because blah. Okay? Just like boom, boom, boom. Why? There's not a single reason why you can't agree. Okay? Mindupala gyu chi shi. What reason you give me one good reason why you're not going to agree? Chi shi yete? Why? Because there ain't one. Because yeah, there ain't yeah. a single one. There's not, a it's single, not the smallest one. It can't one. give you any reason. Why? Because you've seen the truth. No. no cause the the Chiba. Because they claim to have seen no. the truth. No. They did see the truth. No, no, because they did see the truth. Oh, I thought that's what I said. Because they've seen the truth. Yeah, good. Right, that's yeah. the first thing yeah. I said. Okay. I think I'm not pronouncing things correctly. That's why. <laughs> then the. You uh, say. Yeah, you say they've you. seen the truth. Okay? According yeah. to you. Give me one good reason why you should say they didn't achieve nirvana. What are you talking about? There ain't a single reason why you should say that. What are you talking about? Yeah. Because they saw reality. Yeah. According to you. They're not saying that. The listeners. But seeing reality that. and achieving nirvana is not the same. That's I We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. It's coming. Don't be too smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try to be down the right level. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> For example, take a uh, Josh Ampanyang and Lady. Nei chimi kyo wa shinno. What's it say? It says, for example, uh, take, for example, it's like the nirvana of an arhat. Chimi kyo wa shinno. It's, it's like... Chi is later. It's like, oh, oh. They don't take birth later. Yeah, right, right. It's like they don't take birth later. Yeah. And so they don't take birth later. Yeah, for example... It would be like... Like how... The great arhats of the Abhidharma. Yeah. You know, Katyayana, Shariputra, Magalayana. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't forget their lower school. They often talk about famous big arhats. Okay. And they would never have to take birth again. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> now we uh, we we unraveled the tengu. Okay, we unraveled the tengu, the guts of the tengu for him. Detar tawale from this sarcastic statement. Okay, from this sarcastic this statement. Chibe uh, tapa matope chair. Since these children ha have not, in fact, attained freedom, and everybody knows it. Okay, since you can throw an in fact here, <laughs> since in fact we all know that those kids haven't achieved freedom, okay, then the nangwa didak midem. The appearance the is not true. true. Yeah, all the stuff that appears to us is not real. Yeah. Okay, if it was real, they saw reality, they became our heart. 
Yeah. What about a Tim Bobby 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 sack I don't know what you're talking. <laughs> we, we're in a lower school. Oh. We're not talking about Bobby Sack. His text is the guardian approving to a lower school with, with the lower hands. school. Right. Yeah. Okay, now I did that midembe. Mm -hmm. Okay, since these, the way things appear, now yeah. all these things appear to some not true, yeah. uh, the belief in yuta cannot be true. Yutar is yuta? Madu. Yeah, yeah, Madu. Yeah. Cannot be established. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that means uh, that the idea that things exist the way they seem cannot be proven. Mm -hmm. That's what our Tengu just did. Yeah. Yes. Now if you want to have fun, yeah. now I'll go back. Now you 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 gloss the root text for us. You're Nagarjuna. You're gonna <laughs> enlighten us <laughs> about the root text. Because uh, all the pieces are in there. The part that we didn't translate, the notebook. It's all there. It's only oh, it's all there. Okay, got it. Let me put it here. Do Chitty. line by line. Don't Chitty. even try to be uh, slick. Grammatical. <laughs> Start with the shin. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah, in the way that. Yeah, yeah, in the way that they. Two year olds. Two year old. Chitty. Takba. Examine. Okay. In the way the two year olds. Examine. Take no. things. Uh -huh. Okay. In the way two year olds talk. Take things to be uh, true. They take. They look at stuff and they see it as true. Kelte. Uh, they see it as Kelte. being yeah. in contradiction yeah. with the truth. If if yeah. the stuff existed uh -huh. truly the way they see it, oh, if that's all right. this Kelte stuff if. Okay. existed the way they see it, okay, then they should have long ago achieved liberation, in which they no longer have the stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What stuff? The, the, the heaps, heaps, the body, yeah, the mind. dirty heaps, yeah. the, the immortal heaps. heaps. Okay. Mm -hmm. then, oh, can't give me the. Give uh, me one reason why not to say that. Give me one reason why it's not like that. Okay. Yeah. Give chi shi. Give me one good reason why we shouldn't say that. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that was two car rides. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <coughs> okay, next line. Not it gets harder. Mindepa, Shangtak, oh. I think. Oh, Shang okay, I missed it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Shangtang Sakpa, <coughs> Shangtang Sakpa didak kunso chibe rangyu du zekyan tel dak gamrang draki ten sik so. It's ten dog. Okay. Town. Ah, ten dog. Oh, it should dog. be dope. Yeah, there's oh. no such word as that. I think it does mean to lick with your tongue. Dak. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Shang Tang. I've heard that. Before. Yeah, you have heard that. And look, I'm gonna prove it to you. It's earlier in this text. <laughs> Shang, sorry. Footnote. Ah, uh, Shang. Yeah. Okay. Shang Tang Sapa. Uh -huh. And it's tricky because those three syllables shouldn't go together, right? It should be, it should be Shang Tang Sapa, uh -huh. according to normal Tibetan. Uh -huh. So it's a weird one. It took me a long time to figure it out. Shang Tang Sapa. Uh -huh. uh, his monk's name is Yeshi Jungne. Shang is an area like Arizona. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Tang Sapa is something like guy from the Arizona Plains. Uh -huh. uh, his monk's name was Yeshi Jungne. And the Blue Annals is where you go for these guys between India and Tsongkhapa. Right. Okay, I'm just telling you for the future. If you're looking for somebody between India and Tsongkhapa, go to the Blue Annals. Yeah, it's here. It's, yeah. it's here. Right? It's like this thick. Yeah. It was translated by Rushki Chalavian. Yuri Yuri. Yuri Yuri. at yet? Uh huh. Uh, Nikolai Rurik, was was very famous yeah. painter, uh, but his son was a great scholar, and he was the first person to try to translate that. Did you ever read really? that? Yeah, Rurik. Huh? Did you ever read it? You know, it was the first thing we did uh, OCR on, I and we did it 30 that. years ago, right. yeah. and about a third of the words came out. 
So then did and you I use it still. Did you subsequently? No, I never, I never did it. Oh. Somebody should. Do we it. have it as a PDF. Uh, we have it as. Uh, I think we input it. Oh, probably. probably. In I'm Tibetan, sure. we probably have it, and we yeah. have it as a PDF in uh, English. It's not a bad translation. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's in English. It's in Russian. He didn't English. He lived in India his whole life. Yeah. His father it's dropped him off. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, Shang Tang uh -huh. Sapa. Shang Tang Sapa. Oh, by the way, his teacher was uh, Patsap, oh, yeah. who's also famous in this uh, commentary. He has tradition. four great disciples of of this commentary. They, they wrote commentaries on this book, on Nagarjuna. Okay. Uh, sorry. Oops. Mm. <coughs> okay. Oh. Trans but that, I mean, oh, this okay. is messy. Let me just do it. Okay. Shantang Sapa, this kind of, uh, what do you call it? Like original guy, commentator. <laughs> no, it's just some kind of really early Tibetan guy who who was a nerd and attacked all this stuff. And he did a he did a not a bad job. Be looking to translate what we're <laughs> An odd person who sits in a library all day. What's the Tibetan word? No, I'm just thinking about him. class. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, he, uh, he did pretty good. Yeah. He's early, early. The Tibetans before Tsongkhapa didn't get emptiness correct. Mm -hmm. uh, but he did, he tried. Crusty mm. okay. proto. They didn't have a lineage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Shantan Sapa did that. Completely covered? I mean. Uh, uh, can you run me a vote? Maybe. We'll see if Gopher will let me. Oh, you got a bad Gopher. You gotta help me. You gotta rub the Ted for people who I don't know, have two I computers. I know, but it's very powerful if Geshe asked him. But Geshe yeah. has two computers, so he's less. I'm using my own computer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want you to look up Kunzo Cho with SPY and Kunzo Cho with DPY. In the symbol. Yeah. 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 Are we doing a frequency test? They are yeah. synonym. Uh, yeah. What do you call it? Antonyms? Uh, Sounds the same. Oh. Homonyms. 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 Yeah. Homonyms. 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 But they don't mean at all the same thing. Uh -huh. And they're, they're spelled the similarly, so people confuse them. Mm. Sumbum? Sumbum, hmm? you said? Sumbum. It won't be in the thing here. Anyway, let's talk about it. Okay. Kunzob, you know Kunzob Demba. Yeah, it's a um, deceptive reality. You can call it deceptive reality or apparent reality. Reality which lies to you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Seiji, Keshi Michael's coming from his own side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm deceptive reality. I'm lying to him all the time. Okay. There's none with uh, SPY. Yeah, I got none. So you think it's How a many with DP? Error? 26. Give me five. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I corrected. <laughs> <Yeltsin too. laughs> Don't tell him that. Um, <laughs> you said there's none with. Wait. Don't disappoint me. Okay. <laughs> you probably misspelled okay. it. Yeah, I got one too. I got five. But you probably still, missed you still one. What? No, this makes more sense. Um, We're looking at different databases. That's all. Kunzo Jupe Rupa means. Uh, Logic in the realm of normal world, and it's not logic used to prove emptiness. It's a code word. Mm -hmm. it, it means logic for the normal world. And what that means is dundam uh, chipa It's not, it's, it's ultimate, not examining the ultimate examining, nature of things. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. if you're proving fire has smoke and stuff like that, those are kunzo <coughs> chipa. They're examinations in the realm of Normal things. things, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Deceptive uh, things. Uh, so and he says they are Rangyupa. Yeah, they're the independent school. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is this is a lucky thing, because it's going to trigger 
a whole beautiful thing in his text. Okay, mm -hmm. Zion Zippa happens to be the name of the yeah. lower, lower, lower school. half of the middle way school, mm -hmm. and we're going to see why they're called that. Yeah. But it's a form of logic. Right. Okay, Svatantrika is a mm -hmm. form of logic. Mm -hmm. Right. So Tangsapa claims this Telgir, yeah. Prasangika, uh -huh. is a Rangyu. Uh -huh. Okay. He says okay. that. It, yeah. He says, it's an don't forget kind of Gyalsa J, before he met Tsongkhapa, was the most famous logician in Tibet. Uh -huh. He wants to bring everything to logic. <coughs> right. So he's using three weird logic terms here. Okay? <laughs> One is, this is reasoning dealing with the normal world. This is reasoning dealing with the normal world. Not only that, it's a Rangyupa. It's an What's a Rangyupa? What's a Svatantuka as a, as a, a, as a logical tool? Yeah. I'll, I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's leave it now. Okay. He says it's a svatantrik, uh, meaning a certain kind of logic. Okay, but Kyang, <coughs> I would say. Okay, you gotta insert. I would say here. <coughs> Is this? Are we still in the same? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. We're still in the same ten sentence. Yeah. <coughs> I would call it either a teldok or a wrong dokitensik. These are two other logic yeah. terms. Uh -huh. Unusual. Misspell them, it becomes impossible. <laughs> this is, by the way, this is a correction. Tell them dope. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, if things exist the way they seem, <coughs> then all the people in the world who never heard of the pen should already be our Yeah. Why? Because everything they see is truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, <coughs> what's the opposite of that? No, I mean, <coughs> it, I'm but saying something sarcastic. Thing. What's the truth? What's, so what's the our truth, truth is that what they see isn't the true. Thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, they're not our house. Right, right. they're not our house. So, dope means the pancake, pancake flip of the Tengyur second section. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tengyur, Teng dog is the pancake flip of the second section of the Tengyur. Sarcastic. Which okay. is the sarcastic. Oh, sarcastic. sarcastic. All these, all these. Yeah. Infants have reached our house. <coughs> right. Mm -hmm. What's the flip of that? Oh, these infants have had a job. Yeah, yeah, that's Tembo. Okay. okay, so it's just a non sarcastic so, so, Yeah, well, no. It's the Gatsub J is saying yeah. uh, this is a Tengir to be flipped. Uh -huh. This is not a wrong view. Right. Okay. This is a Tengir to be flipped. Okay. Meaning if you flip it, you get a true statement. Right. They right. haven't right. seen it. Right, right, okay. right. Dok, dok there. Okay. I mean, he's got a thousand dogs. His dogs are running around all over. <laughs> uh, okay, so flip the tongue. Flip the tongue. I say oranges are blue. Or, or, or second possibility. It's a wrong back of It's a statement of that's common knowledge or something like no, that? No, this is tricky. Um, this is a rare kind of logic. Uh, and it came up from the dusty closet. Uh, <laughs> generally, are you allowed... Okay, there's a list of reasons why logic is wrong. There's a list of reasons why a logical statement might be wrong. Like the relationships? Okay. If the three relationships don't hold, mm -hmm. obviously. But there's a very interesting one. There's a very interesting one in Buddhism. Ready? Yeah. Logic is mistaken oh, yeah. if you if you say it to someone who already understood that. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. right, right. <coughs> it's not just ir irrelevant or unnecessary. It's actually illogical. Okay? Seiji. Mexico is a country to the south of the United States. Because <laughs> it's a country that comes next to the United States and it's not on the other two directions. <laughs> you know, and he's like, <laughs> now, now that in, in Western logic, that would be a true statement. Yeah. In Buddhist logic, it's false. It's false, because yeah. he already knew that. You see, when you give a true logic to a person who already understands it, as if they didn't understand it, that logic is illogical. Okay, cool. Yeah. And it's in the list of reasons you're not supposed to give. Is it false or is it just not logical? It's false. It's false? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no. It's right. still true. Right. But it's yeah. illogical. Yeah. Right. It's, it's right. not good logic. Yeah. But it's not false. Right. You can't say it's false. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
like now, castles. then there right. comes up so another right. subject. There comes up another subject. What about Sambale Chungwe Shiram? From Stanley's text, please. Sambale Chungwe Shiram. The ten, the ten <laughs> things that always come along. To Sam Gom. Oh, oh. Wisdom, 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 which comes from sitting in the car, yeah, yeah. thinking about what Geshe Lass said in the yeah. class, which nobody does, but <laughs> I mean, it's possible, theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you're driving home and you're thinking, God, what was he talking about? And, uh, that's called Sampale Chui Shinam. Okay. In a sense, in Buddhism, that's accepted as debating with yourself. You're allowed to debate with yourself. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Geshe Lama. You shouldn't really drink six cups of coffee in front of the students, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're supposed to be calm. You're supposed to be a good example. And you shouldn't not do your book and not do your yoga and not do your meditation on the same day in front of the students, okay? You got it? Because it's not a good example. You know, when you're giving, uh, talking to yourself reason, that's called a wrong bracket density. Okay. Uh, logic for the benefit of yourself. Uh-huh. And it's a beautiful concept. Logic for the benefit of yourself. So, Gyaltsev J says, Tangsapa thinks this is a rangi, uh, a prasang, uh, sorry, a svatantrika, mm-hmm. which has nothing to do with tantra, it's just the name of a logic. Mm-hmm. But I think it's one of these other two. Right. Yeah. Oh, we haven't yet talked about what is our what is No, I'm drop? going into that. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. What's the drop in this? Uh, drop? Proclaimed to you. So, is it? It's proclaimed to yourself. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. oh okay. Yeah. It's Something time. you say to yourself in the car. Okay. So, who said this in the car? You did. I did. To no, do things. Do the things around me right now. This traffic jam in Sedona. Go to Uptown Sedona. It's a 15 minute drive, take you an hour. <laughs> and you say, you know, is, is this all the way it seems to be? Is this not coming from me? And then you say, well, if it wasn't coming from you, your opinion of it would be correct. And then you'd be seeing the truth. And you'd already be an Arhat Geshe, Michael, but you're not. Right. So it could be that this whole telling is spoken to yourself mm-hmm. to, to calm your mind down about the traffic. Right, yeah. You know? Uh, oh, is it really have no cause? Cause she might, this is like having Veronica sit next to you. <laughs> <laughs> She's so innocent. She's like, oh, <clears throat> I guess there's no cause. <laughs> She's not even trying to be sarcastic. <laughs> She's just saying, I guess there's nothing causing, you know, this traffic. <laughs> and I'm, you know, you're upset in this traffic. and <laughs> I don't know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going... <laughs> so that's a... Then when that starts your thought process to yourself, yeah. Yeah. it's a very beautiful thing in Buddhist logic called uh, Ram Dakitan. Ram Dakitan. Ram Dakitan. Yeah. Yeah. Self-directed logic. It's either that. Or it's just a sarcastic yeah. statement yeah. Yeah. where if you flipped it, it would be correct. <laughs> okay, got it? Yeah. Oh, both of those. yeah. That's whose opinion? Gyatsa J. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And this other guy, Tang Sasa, thinks it's a Rangyupa. Now we have to discuss next, here, look, we have to, idea, the idea of a Rangyuki Tensei. Okay. So I'm, I went and got you some references. Cool. There's three, d- three nice references. Is that the deeper kind of logic? It's, uh, it's the lower middle way kind of logic. Oh. It's lower middle way. Yeah. Yeah. It, they were named after this kind of logic. Yeah. It's not that it started with them, <coughs> it's that they... They have an idea about its effect, <coughs> efficacy. Mm-hmm. It can get you enlightened from its own power or something. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can you drop me that version? Of yeah, and you can struggle with these uh, quotations I found. They can't be harder than Kinsu About the, the meaning of a Rangyuki Tensei. Cool. Yeah. And I think it's about a page of translation. <laughs> and it, to me, it kind of answered my questions about why why Gyaltsev J was having trouble with that. Okay. Yeah, 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 cool. Let's Sashi and... <coughs> Sashi Pugi Jukshing Metokram Rirabling Shin Yende Gyembadi 
Sange shing du mik te uvargi Jokun nam dak shing la ju par sho Idam guru ratna mandala kam niyatayami Kewa di kewa kun Sunam yeshe tok tok shing Sunam yeshe le jung we Dampa kuni drobar sho Sho Thank you Gisha Yeah Thank you it's getting interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can you airdrop me? The, oh, uh, and by the way, uh, this, the lower middle way is named after that kind of logic, right? Mm -hmm. So, in a complete non sequitur, mm -hmm. jumping irrational to another subject, Gyaltsev J says, hey, Let's discuss the, the difference between the two Madhyamikas. Right, right. Yeah. You know, he's not supposed to be talking about that at all. <laughs> it seems to be a and, common thing. Uh, it's a beautiful subject. It's a very famous subject in Gombarapsa. Mm -hmm. We might go to Gombarapsa. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very famous. It, make, it, it makes for a nice teaching if you're giving a lecture or something. Mm -hmm. uh, there's either eight or ten differences. Uh, so, mm -hmm. we can go there. Cool. Yeah. Thank I don't you. know how deeply he goes into it, but we, we can do a detour. And <laughs> you can prepare an essay. <coughs> it's not very <coughs> long. Okay. They're not extensive long, uh, explanations. But, but there might be more than he has here.